Hey everyone, Sean Frangella here for MotionTutorials.net with the Cinema 4D video on a new feature for R18, the MoGraph Re-Effector. So the Re-Effector is another new effector under MoGraph Effector. And what this is great for is if you're using multiple effectors and you wanna control them all individually or adjust single or multiple parameters of groups of effectors that are all applied to an object. And let's set this up because it'll make a lot more sense once we take a look at some examples. So here I have this fractured object and I have three different effectors on it to move things around. I have a plane effector that's just rotating the pieces a bit in one direction, a random effector to move and rotate them, and then a step effector to scale them down. So there's multiple things going on and say I wanted to have this all explode in this way with this look and then scale it back together. Well, I'd have to do all of them at once or link them together using Expresso. And now what I can do is if I grab our fracture object, which is holding our MoGraph clones, I'll go to MoGraph effector, re-effector, and it looks like it undid everything. But if we take a look at this, it has all of the data sets for everything you can do with effectors. So this is really powerful because it's an entire new data set of all the information you could do, and then you can use it in a lot of different ways. So this first example, now that we have multiple effectors on this, if we have this re-effector at the end, we could just grab that and just animate the strength from zero to 100 or vice versa. And it's gonna take everything that is set up using our default position scale rotation, which is all we're using in these plain random and step effectors, and let us adjust it. So we could use it to be a catch-all for animating multiple effectors. And we could also check on and off different settings. So this is where it gets really powerful with really controlling your MoGraph animations and manipulating things and customizing it if you have multiple effectors going on and you wanna tweak something a little but not have to dig all the way into each of them individually. And if we wanna do leave our other effectors to be doing the work, but just check some stuff on and off, we could do that with this re-effector too. So if we go to parameter, we could open any of these scale, rotation, and position options. And let's just say we turn off X. So what that's gonna do is let everything else be animating, but this won't be catching X. And let's just go turn that back on. Now, another thing we could do is use this as a container to manipulate just one parameter. So if I drop in all these effectors on our re-effector, you can see they're added at the bottom and it builds up to our initial animation. But if we move the strength, it's not quite turning it on and off. Well, what we can do is say we like the whole animation, but we just want this one re-effector to impact our position X. Well, we could take everything that's going into this MoGraph system so we have the plane, the random, the step effector, all moving things. And maybe we just wanna spread them out a little more on X, but again, not go into each one. Well, we could use the re-effector, apply it to all of our effectors with that setup, and then just change our position X strength amount or our original strength. And we could scale this entire system out on X. So the re-effector can be a really cool way to manipulate all of your effectors or take an entire MoGraph system after you've added effectors and adjust individual properties at the end. And if you take a look at parameter, there's a lot of these. So with the different effectors in our MoGraph effector system, we could affect more stuff besides position and scale rotation. We could impact time, UV transformation, visibility. And then we could use our re-effector to further adjust and manipulate those properties. It's a really cool little update and it's really worth taking a look at. And if you want to check out more new features for Cinema 4D R18, be sure to check out motiontutorials.net where I have full breakdowns on all of the new features, including my top five new features, MoGraph updates, the new thin film shader, the awesome new Vernoy fracture, and more new features. And don't forget to check out some of the new Cinema 4D products I have in the online store at motiontutorials.net slash store, where you can pick up Cinema 4D templates, lighting and rendering assets, and new packs for 360 Environment Maps Pro, which are packs of 8K environment photos 
assets, and a Cinema 4D templates to quickly and easily make your 3D scenes look awesome. If you have any questions on this tutorial or any of my other new feature tutorials, be sure to follow me on Twitter. I'm at Sean Frangella and check out the Facebook page at facebook.com slash motion tutorials. I love hearing from fans of the videos and talking about all these new features. And if you want a quick dose of other new features for R18, be sure to check out the other R18 videos I have up on YouTube by clicking on any of those thumbnails that are popping up there now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you at the next video.